Okay, now we can put in our picture. So, just have a look at what the pictures and details are. Okay, and it's critical that we then resize it, um, not just in pixels, but rather in percentage, so that it can adjust to the page size if the page does resize. Now, something I prefer doing is just specifying the width, not the height as well, because if you do the height as well, you often end up with a picture that is skewed in terms of aspect ratio and then you have something that where the where the image is just completely out of perspective so be aware of that now another thing that's extremely important with a picture is to have a very descriptive alternative text now just remember the purpose of alternative text is not just for if the picture doesn't display the purpose for alternative text is also for someone using a screen reader, a disabled person using a screen reader, to actually know what that um, picture is about. So this has to be very descriptive, something of um, a person doing online shopping, holding a credit card. So it has to be properly descriptive, it can't just be picture. Okay. And I like doing an alignment as well. It doesn't have to be left, it can also be right or whatever. Um, I'm not very fond of center because then you can't wrap the text around it. Um, so that is something that I think would look neat. I'm probably going to move that down a little bit. There you go. That looks good. Now, because the I'm not I haven't got my bibliography on the same page as my picture. I'm rather going to put um, the reference to where I got my picture at the bottom of the page in a small font. So I'll say picture from and use that full URL. And actually just put that as small text at the bottom of the page.